Welcome, one and all, in here, out there, all the ships at sea. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what are we looking at here? We're, we're still waiting for the next January 6th committee hearing. The next one was supposed to be today, but now the next one is tomorrow. But yesterday, the committee did drop a teaser for the next hearing. Ooh, a teaser! <laughs> it's like a Marvel movie. Is there a multiverse where there are consequences for staging a coup? <laughs> All we know is that Rudy Giuliani is hiding bottles of wine in every dimension. <laughs> Which, which one's the real me? <laughs> the teaser hinted at new information about the former president's campaign attorney, John Eastman, seen here after winning the 100-meter dingus. <laughs> as you may recall, as you may recall, Eastman was the dumbass mastermind, or dumbastermind. <laughs> behind the ridiculous legal argument that Mike Pence had the power to block Congress from certifying Biden's victory. You know who disagreed with that? Mike Pence. <laughs> On January 6th, Pence decided not to wish democracy into the cornfield, but Eastman did not give up with his plan. We know that because yesterday, the committee released a little teaser video of former White House attorney Eric Hirschman describing a phone call he got on January 7th. It was the day after uh, Eastman, I don't remember why he called me, and he started to ask me about something dealing with Georgia and preserving something potentially for appeal. Uh, and I said to him, are you out of your effing mind? I can answer that one. <laughs> Absa effing lutely. <laughs> Eastman. <laughs> Eastman engineered a failed coup on national TV and thought he could just keep going. That's like being on trial for public indecency and swearing in by raising more than your right hand. <laughs> Hirschman. Hirschman told Eastman that he was done hearing about the cockamamie plan to overthrow the election results. Could I only want to hear two words coming out of your mouth from now on? Free nachos? <laughs> Wango Tango? Cabo Wabo? No? I'm sorry, go on. Orderly transition. Okay. <laughs> I still want nachos. <laughs> then Hirschman explained how that call with the architect of the coup ended. I said, good, John. Now I'm going to give you the best free legal advice you're ever getting in your life. Get a great effing criminal defense lawyer. You're going to need it. That is good advice. <laughs> that, that is good advice, because the lawyer Eastman was plotting the coup with studied for the bar by going to one. <laughs> now, uh, some of the uh, folks... Some of the folks being featured in the videos in these hearings are not happy about all the publicity. Take Proud Boy leader and worst-case scenario David Cross, <laughs> Joseph Biggs. For his role in the coup, Biggs has been charged with seditious conspiracy. It's a serious charge. It carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. By the time he gets out, this Proud Boy is going to be a proud member of the AARP. <laughs> And Biggs wants to move his trial now, according to the court, quote, in view of the increased and unquestionably spectacular 24-7 negative press and media coverage about the fraternity known as the Proud Boys. <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. The Proud Boys is just a fraternity. January 6th was just hazing. I mean, we all heard their chant. Stay Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> uh, Big's attorney argues that his client can't get a fair trial thanks to this week's televised hearings of the House Select Committee on January 6th and all the media coverage from Morning Joe to Stephen Colbert's Late Show. <laughs>
You know, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I do a lot of jokes about these violent fascists, but to hear that even one of them noticed, <laughs> I. I feel so seen. You hate me. You really hate me. <laughs> Big's attorney argues they need to move his trial because shows like mine continue to saturate the jury pool of media obsessive Washington, D.C. They want to move the trial to some place where the Proud Boys have a better reputation, like 1930s Berlin. <laughs> of course, after we got this uh, little shout out, the article says Newsweek contacted Colbert's representatives for comment. Well, uh, Mr. Colbert, uh, do you have a comment? Why, thank you, Steve, I do. Would you care to share that with the American people? Uh, certainly. While this is a very high profile case in our justice system, the accused is, of course, innocent until proven guilty. So I want everyone in the potential jury pool to hear me when I say, you are going to jail, you neo-numbnut, and if you don't like it... <laughs> and if you... And if you don't like it, you can come and get me. My name is Joe Scarborough, and I love coffee. Welcome to the monkey house, brother. Meanwhile, <laughs> the oh, you remember, right? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, the economy, bad. <laughs> the feeling, sad. <laughs> Inflation's up, the market's down, and crypto is trapped on Mars eating Matt Damon's poop potatoes. <laughs> Yesterday, in Philadelphia, President Biden stayed positive. There's so much at stake, but the truth is, I've never been more optimistic about America than I am today. I really mean it. I really mean it. <laughs> America's never been better. They're selling ice all year round now. You want taffy, you don't even have to pull it yourself. <laughs> and the Brooklyn Dodgers finally took home the pennant. The year is what now? Whoo, boy, that's a lot of twos. Ah, you gotta be joking me, right? You're joshing me, you're giving me the business. That reminds me, gotta watch tonight's Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> most... Really? Really? <laughs> Y'all are a cheap date. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> most Americans are not feeling as sunny as Joe. One reason the national gas price average is now over $5 a gallon. Biden has heard America's concerns as putting major pressure on big oil. This morning, he sent a letter to the companies. Mr. President, um, I think we're past the pen pal stage. Um, <laughs> when your house is burning, you don't sit down and write, dear candle I left unattended. <laughs> How dare you? This betrayal will not be forgotten. Sincerely, oh God, scream, scream, help, help. I am on fire. <laughs> the midterms are coming up in November. One Senate candidate keeps getting in trouble. That's Georgia Republican and America's neck top model, Herschel Walker. <laughs> Walker is a former Heisman Trophy winner, but for some reason he feels he needs to keep making stuff up about his accomplishments. The latest make him up, Herschel Walker used to brag he worked in law enforcement, but according to a new report, he never did. <laughs> It'll all be detailed in the new show, Walker, Not a Ranger. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Emma Thompson and comedian Tom Segura. But when we come back, my wife, Emmy, and I have some first drafts of Father's Day cards. 